one of the largest wholesale food distribution companies in the world is the Cisco Corporation. Cisco's main business is marketing and distributing food products, small wares, kitchen equipment, and tabletop items to restaurants, healthcare and educational facilities, hospitality businesses, just to name a few. Hi, this is Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'm back with another episode of Toy Talk. I'm going to talk about a really cool mural trailer truck later on, so stay tuned. I'm going to make a video specifically on mural trailers in the very near future. So make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss that video. Lastly, I've got a checklist on DCP by First Gear's Fallen Flag series that you can grab for free with the link down below. Having more than 600,000 clients in a wide array of fields, Cisco, or Systems and Services Company, has become the world's largest broadline food distributor. Cisco operates approximately 330 distribution facilities worldwide, providing service to over 90 countries. Cisco was started by Herbert Irving, John F. Bow, and Henry Rosenthal in 1969. Of this threesome, John Bow took the leadership position behind the founding of Cisco. Bow had grown up on a ranch near Waco, Texas, and had got his start in the food business through a part-time job at a local A&P grocery store back when he was in high school. A simple beginning, but John was not satisfied, so he started his own food service company in 1946 and named it the Zero Foods Company of Houston. In 1969, Bow convinced the owners of eight other small food distribution companies to combine the nine companies forming what he had hoped to mold into a national food service distribution organization. One that would be able to distribute any food despite its regional availability. Through combining wholesale food distribution, primarily restaurant suppliers, buying outright, and taking on subsidiaries, John Bow built his company. Cisco's efforts to become controller of 75% of the U.S. food service industry was stopped in 2015 when Cisco tried to merge with U.S. Foods. That was a good thing for competition in the food service industry and for consumers. One of the most successful wholly owned subsidiaries of Cisco that provides food and non-food products to chain restaurants throughout the United States is the Sigma Network Inc. Founded in January of 1984, when senior officers of Cisco Corporation started discussions for forming a new distribution company. The first products were shipped on May 1985 from Sigma's first distribution center in Oklahoma. You have probably heard the expression, there is more than one way to skin a cat. After the court decision stopping Cisco from merging with U.S. Foods, Cisco came up with a new strategy for growth. Beginning in 1995, Cisco added a fold-out expansion strategy as an additional method of growth. This strategy involved developing a sales base in markets distant from an existing operation, then building a new distribution center, staffing it with transferred staff, and thereby creating a new standalone 
operating company serving a new market. In 1995, Cisco opened its first ever brand new distribution center in Connecticut through this program. Over the next four years, the fold-out expansion strategy added several more companies to Cisco. With its attention to customer service and strong management team, a team that had been strengthened over the years by a company policy of retaining the managers of acquired firms. Cisco was well positioned to continue into the new millennium with a steady increase in market share. Cisco will probably continue on despite its founder's death at age 91. Mr. Bow was chairman of Cisco's board until 1985 and after that he was the senior chairman through 1997. Cisco continues to be an innovative company. As a way to better showcase their products, Cisco invested heavily in trailer wraps with gorgeous full color graphics, starting with just on the back doors, then moving to the entire sides of the trailers. This marketing method is extremely successful and I will talk more about it in a future video on mural trailers. But for now, let's head over to my little rock quarry and talk about a beautiful replica of a Cisco Mac Anthem pulling two mural trailers. And here we go guys. This is the latest release for Cisco from DCP by First Gear. Its item number is 60-1011. Cisco with the beef and seafood trailer. Now these are the DCP pups. They were from when DCP owned it. And we'll start off with this trailer. It has screw down landing gear. It has a Thermo King SB300 reefer unit on the front. Fuel tank underneath, 10 hole chrome. 10 hole white painted steel wheels with black uh, center caps and soft rubber tires with working suspension. What makes this really cool is how they made managed to put this really, really sharp mural wrap on the side of the trailer. Just look at how crisp and clear all of those graphics are. It has the Cisco logo at the heart of food service. This is for their seafood. And it has a fishing trawler there sitting out on probably one of the sound, like the Puget Sound or someplace coming in, or maybe it's on the Atlantic coast. However, this is salmon, so probably out west. Maybe even Alaska. But isn't that graphics absolutely beautiful? And those are printed directly on the trailer. It's... It's not a decal, it's not paint, it's not a true vehicle wrap like we're accustomed to on the real vehicles. They've got a process where they print that right on the side of the trailer and just look how amazing it comes out. They also printed the DOT striping and they tampoed the marker lights on there. Again, more graphics printed right here on the back door. Follow me to your next great meal, Cisco logo, and then a plate of seafood. Cisco branded mud flaps, and then there is the uh, panel hitch. It's not really a hitch, it's just a pin that sticks up. And then that'll fold down and lock it in place. There's a placard mount there, and then there's steps into this bumper. And the door does open, showing off a detailed refrigerated trailer interior insulated floor insulated white walls really sharp another thing it does have the roof clearance lights up here at the top and they are tampoed in red and they're the square style not round style on to the curb side of the trailer that same beautiful graphic only this time you can see most of your Cisco trailers have a couple of doors on the curbside. One, two, sometimes three doors. And while it's not a true door, they tampoed the door frame, cam locks, a hand grab to grab up on there, and then the hinges for both doors. Hinges here, grab bar, cam locks, and 
the whole works. They did a really good job making it look like there's doors, even though there's not. There's also another access point, so you can just check inside on the trailer there. Cisco runs these because it's very common for them to just pull up beside the building and unload out the doors instead of out the back. Also works well with the multi-zone uh, temperature zones inside the trailers. Front side here, Thermo King Reefer, SB300, the control panel, it's white, uh, TK, and then it's got the black on the grills for the radiator and black on top. One other thing, they did a hot stamping process where they made this little piece look like it's the chrome corners. Really cool. Now, detail-wise, this trailer is got all the same details on it. But, it has a totally different wrap. So, this one is the beef wrap. You can see the wood board, Cisco logo, uh, other food items there, and then it has that steak. Nice, <laughs> nice cooked, medium rare and well really probably even rare sliced up ready to go then they put some seasoning in the shape of a heart right there in the guy's hand because their new thing is at the heart of food service so the hearts make sense on the back door this time it has a different plate this plate has a beef dinner on it and some vegetables to go with it but the rest of the details are the same the graphics and then the mud flaps, doors open, detailed interior, all the same. Come around to the curbside, again, that beautiful graphic, and then you've got those doors. Really handy having those doors and when you're doing food service because there's a lot of places where you deliver to that you simply, there is no loading dock for starters. And second, there's not really enough room for you to back up to the door, you just pull up beside and open those doors, really useful. Same Thermo King Reefer in the front. Now we'll set those aside. This tractor is a first gear tooling. The Mac came out when it was still first gear. It has first gear style 10 hole painted wheels with soft rubber tires. And these tires are a little bit smaller than the ones on the trailer, but these are scaled right and the DCP ones are a little bit too big. Two fuel tanks, chrome deck plate, def tank, your air tanks and your battery box right there on the steps. Grab bar, grab bar, so you can get in easy. Nice mirrors that are uh, black arms with painted white uh, caps on them. And then there's a little silver tampo on the back side to make it look like it's got a mirror. USDOT number right there underneath the door. And then the Cisco logo on the door. There's also a truck number right there up on the hood. Intake grills, then around towards the front. The headlights are individual jewel style, which are plastic pieces that are clear plastic, and they paint them with some amber color and some clear color so that it looks like they're real headlights. Much better than just painting them on. Hot stamping process here to make that look like chrome. It's not quite shiny enough, but close enough. Same thing with the Mac logo. It's just really silver paint. There's a gold bulldog on the hood, and then the two front minder mirrors, with black arms, and then white caps, and then silver there. Interior is detail, uh, gray dashboard, two gray high back seats, and a black steering wheel. It's also a gear shift on the floor. Up on top of the uh, fairing here, it's got the Cisco logo and then your roof required um, clearance lights. Windshield is hard plastic on this guy with windshield wipers molded in. Passenger side, just the same as the driver's side. Underneath, you can see the bottom of those air tanks. This truck has no steering of any kind, not positional, not steering. But that was the way First Gear did them. I kind of like it better that way, but that's okay. Uh, it has the air ride suspension on it, drive shafts, differentials, transmission, and in bottom of the engine detail. Pretty nice job they did on this Mac Anthem. It has Cisco branded mud flaps, chrome hanging brackets, brake lights, backup light, DOT striping. The fifth wheel here will haul any of the DCP or first gear trailers has a nice drive tread on them quarter fenders 
airlines electric lines running there and then a single exhaust stack over on the passenger side with the bracket holding it up now there isn't any muffler there because the muffler detail is right there in that big emissions control mess hard black a hard plastic back window that is nice and clear then you can see how they actually didn't really make this hollow like it should be they just kind of molded the structure that holds it in but it should be hollow then they painted this piece black as that is just kind of a rubber filler piece pretty good overall this truck is and it does have an opening hood with a detailed Mack engine under the hood drives the steering shaft is right there um, piping from the turbo for the charge air system radiator and all the good details under the hood pretty good job they did now let's go on and set this guy up hitched all up together so there we go the Mack Anthem day cab pulling two 28 and a half foot pups with reefer units on each one for Cisco Foods Distribution Company. Cisco provides much of the food that you eat and you probably didn't even know it. Have you ever seen their mural trailers on the highways or parked at a local restaurant? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you thought of the model I just reviewed. Then, take a moment to grab my checklist on the DCP by First Gear Fallen Flag series. It will tell you all the fallen flags that have been made so you can complete your collection. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember, I'm going to do a video specifically on mural trailers. So, subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss it. Then smash that like button and share this video with your followers. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.